Hello and welcome to Maths and Maths. So this week we've been covering trigonometry. So we're going to have two quick questions here in one short video. So we're looking at right angle triangles and I've used O for the opposite, A for adjacent and H for the hypotenuse, this one opposite the right angle triangle, always the longest side in a right angle triangle and using H but not confused with height. Okay, and that's all with respect to that angle there. Often it's angle theta or any other label, in this case we're using x. So we hopefully remember our trig ratios, opposite over hypotenuse, cos of x is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the third one tan, opposite over adjacent. So let's look at a quick question. Imagine you have a right angle triangle with an angle of 30 degrees. So the first thing I do is make sure we label that triangle. That's the O, that's the adjacent, which we don't need in this case. Uh, and that's the hypotenuse if that's all we've been asked for. So let's say uh, we were asked for that. We don't need A, but we do know opposite. So what trig ratio, what trig ratio do we need now? That's the second thing we need to do. Firstly, we label it, then we find the trig ratio. We've got the opposite and we want the hypotenuse opposite and hypotenuse, so we want sine. So sine of 30 is four over hypotenuse. So now it's an equation. So now we should be able to find what sine 30 is. Now I've got a very old calculator here. And um, I have to do reverse order there. So 0 0.5 is sine of 30. So I've got an equation which I can now just rearrange. Four over H, bring the H up, four divided by 0 0.5, so that hypotenuse will be 8 meters, which makes sense, it's longer than the 4. Okay, that's where we're finding the side. Now let's look at a question where we're finding the angle. So I've called it theta here. First thing we do, label it, opposite, hypotenuse adjacent. We don't need the adjacent in this case. We've got opposite and hypotenuse. I've chosen to use sine again. So set up the equation, that's the second thing to do. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. I haven't got a unit here, so let's make it meters again. So sine of theta is gonna be one over three. So again, using a calculator. This time you need to do shift sine. So I'm gonna, because it's an old calculator, I'm gonna have to work that out first, six divided by 18. Right, sorry, six divided by 18, and then do shift, so the second function of sine. So I'm doing sine inverse. Do shift sine of a third, and I get 19 point to three significant figures, a standard unit uh, of rounding. And that makes sense, yeah, 19, nearly 20 degrees. If I got 0 0.2 or 300, I'd know I've done something wrong. Okay, there we go. That's two questions on trigonometry, finding a side, then finding an angle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.